Good morning. Breakfast. Hunting with the Clark boys. Good day, lads. What's uh, what's happened today, lads? It's heading out for a quick pig hunt, hopefully. Quick, but Between could milkings. end up in a long day. But we'll see what happens. What's your name? Uh, Malachi. Malachi. Yeah. There we go. There's a strong biblical name, much like Joshua. Yep, we're off to fight the Battle of Jericho because that old bat Jacinda is going to put us back in lockdown again. So <laughs> we better get in while the getting's good. <laughs> All right, I'll uh, just uh, say bye to all these gusts. Beautiful. There you go, Malachi. Yes. They look like <laughs> from, from, from a store. Oh, Come on, I can't eat yeah, all the pies. Pretty good at it these days, yeah. Yeah. I'll eat one pie. Might have to get a contract with Best Stop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want one now? Oh, have a good one, oh, yeah. Man. See you later. I've been lucky enough to be invited up onto the Clark Boys Spot X and go look for a pig. You guys probably know who these guys are, but if you don't, I'll introduce them. We've got Sam, Noah, Harry, and Malachi. Old um, sniffer hounds on the trail. What have we got there, mate? Uh, pig rootings. Big How big you reckon that pig is? Uh, not too big. Big enough. Good eater, Wicker would say. It's a good eater. Yeah. <laughs> They're all good eaters. How many pigs you caught, Malachi? None. How many pigs have these guys made you carry out? Five. <laughs> Rough as guts, eh? Bruce is going solo. He's out to 200 now. Hopefully get a bark soon. The dogs are 300 metres and boosting. Show you barking on the GPS there, see? What direction are we talking? Straight up that way. All right, 330. Raccoon treed. <laughs> Squealing going on, so it might be holding its ground, grunting at the dogs. Good work, Malachi. Good work, good luck. We should take Josh more often. Yeah, that's too easy. There you go, a bit of manifestation there for you folks. We're going to go out, short walk, catch a pig. Sure enough. A needle sharp tussle, eh? Little dog rippers. Good dog, good dog. Real sharp little tusk, man. Mm. Should be quite good eating still. Yeah, it's nice and fat, eh? Mm. Uh, talk us through the hunt. Uh, we're probably only about 100 metres up the track from where we parked the ute and we've seen a little bit of fresh sign and the dogs went out to about 300 and oh, one dog came back, eh? Yeah. And then Bruce, the boy dog, he started bailing. Couldn't hear him, we could just see it on the um, GPS. So we started heading up there. It took us a little while to get there because it's a bit steep and up and down, but it's a nice bore down, so we're pretty wrapped. Pretty Malachi's easy. first pig. Yeah, it's always a pretty good one. <laughs> always good when you're under a bit of pressure with a new person and a yeah. guest a guest hunter to perform. Some dogs did their job. Stoked. Mean little hunt. Yeah, that was good. I jammed a camera in Wayne's face yesterday and told him to go spare a snapper and he did. And these boys produced the boar, so I just gotta find a good skipper and put the camera in his face and we'll have ourselves a bluefin tuna. <laughs> <laughs> the trifecta. So uh, what do you guys do with the pigs that you catch, Sam? If they're a nice eating size sow or a younger pig, we'll do roast some chops out of it. But a big a one that's a bit stinky old boar, we'll um, just bone all the meat off it and um, put it into bags and then we either make it into sausages, well send it to the butcher to make it into sausages or we give it to friends, family, whoever wants some meat to chuck in and 
get some sausages made because otherwise we catch quite a few pigs so don't want it going to waste and everyone loves anyone that's got kids is like me and we'll have some have some meat for sausages so. awesome Wiener. I think you could carry it. Not maybe not for long, but you could definitely carry it. I'll do my half. I've got the technique. I'm trying a new technique. Dog of the day. Yeah, so this is this is Bruce who caught the pig today, and um, this like the summer that just gone, just coming into it, he um, got a bad rip, and it doesn't look like much there, and it got all the tendon in his toes, and all these toes were like folded up like that. So we had took him to the vets and it was a really long recovery and it looked like for a while there he might be a tripod dog. Um, but finally he's just starting to recover now and pretty much back up to full health. He still gets a little bit limpy after a big hunt. But we're bloody really, really happy that he's come come right because we, we really love him. He's our, he was our best dog. You can see as it's back at his toes eh? His toes are just flat and splayed now. Yeah, yeah. No, no power in them. He just whoop. Slip, slip up the hill a bit. Yeah. Harry's got COVID. Right. That's no. not. <laughs> it's paper scissors right back here. Yeah. Paper scissors rock. I always lose. Oh, best out of three, best out of three, go on. Paper scissors rock. Paper scissors rock. Oh, I got oh, mate, famous <laughs> last words, you, you see? You might have got, got him in the head. I thought it was always just best of one. Yeah, no. hey, smart cookie. Said I always lose. I always do always lose. And then Harry's, yeah, I'll just do whatever, and it won't matter. And then <laughs> Noah takes the bag. Oh, oh, mate. Dry cough. Yeah, you're in trouble. <laughs> oh, <it's> oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> they both got COVID. We're gonna have to put the Coromandel into lockdown. I'll get stuck up here. I'm gonna live on my boat and just go fishing all day. Get down there. I'll lift it up for you. I'm just gonna drain just, it a bit. Uh, did you take the bum out? Yeah. yeah. Should have left it in there. Uh, didn't do that anymore. Yeah. Until we got that. Oh, well, I'm not carrying first, so I don't care. Oh, I love it when the blood drips down in your legs. Yuck. No, it's my turn to shoot. observation I've made when you're out hunting if you go with a pig hunter they always just go straight through the crap all the messy bush whereas you go with a deer stalker they'll just pick their way nicely find the open tracks and it's always a lot easier going behind a deer stalker we're gonna cross over the river here and hit up another ridge where there's normally a pig hanging out we usually cross over there. We'll probably Bloody wet boots. Old Lord Muck isn't happy. There you are, sir. You carry me on the way back across, eh? What do you reckon it is, Josh? It's pretty nice. Yeah. I don't know what it is. It definitely would, now that I think about it a bit more clearly. <laughs> yep. I <clears throat> might be regretting that decision in a couple of days. Pretty thirsty. Uh, pigs love to eat this stuff. It's kneecal palm. You eat the very heart. You can actually peel the tree back and eat the heart of the kneecal. This is a fairly common plant all over the world, actually, in all the tropical areas. Just palm, palm heart. It's a good survival food. Not encouraged because it kills the tree uh, when you do take the heart out of it, but in a survival situation, it's a really good source of carbs. And you can just chew the base of the roots like the pig do, or take the heart out. <laughs> who, who is this Mr. Nikau fella, mate? Mr. Nikau boar. We've been chasing a boar around here for couple of years now you go up into his area and there's just these giant kneecaps like that pushed over he's got a footprint like that so one day we'll catch up with Mr. Kneecow hopefully hmm so 
Today could be the day. Hopefully he doesn't catch up with us. It's the mighty kauri tree. I think they call them cowries up here. Cowrie. These guys are going to go back and milk some more cows, actually. You milking yet? Yep. yep. Pulling tits. Living the dream in the Coromandel. Those bloody mongrels and run out often. 600 metres and not closing. 700 metres. Way up in the clouds up there. Might have to put the 10 scones on hold. Yeah, so Alright, they're back down to 660 in closing. They went out to 900 and they've turned around and come back. And what's the other dog's name? Jen and. Bruce and Jazz. Oh, Brucey and Jazz. Bruce and Brucey's on the way back to intercept Jazz and the pig or vice versa. But they come, the point is they're coming back towards us. So we're just going to sit here and let the pigs come to us. <laughs> and you can use that to light a fire with. You need, you need flame. You can't just rub it and burst into flames or anything. But that's one of the very few sappy trees in New Zealand that we have. Just been having a nice little chat about COVID and Lockdown, Auckland's just been put into level three, was it? Yeah. And the rest of the country in level two. <sighs> Who's with me? Who will rise up and fight Babylon? Who? Tear it down. Oh, I just didn't want to say that. <laughs> Grab your guns, folks. We're starting a civil war right here in New Zealand. Maybe. Watch this space. Pull your AK out of the gun cabinet. Yeah, that's right. The Clark boys <laughs> may be behind me. I think I've convinced them. We've got a 44 Magnum. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, this would be a good place for the gang, for it to start a little gang, yeah, because if the deer can't get in here, none of the heathens will be able to as well. We can just close the borders off and go fishing and eating pigs, and we'll have to bring a few deer in with us, of course, because I don't know how long I could pick hunt for without doing a bit of deer stalking, but uh, heaps of empty houses to live in. Pig on! 124 metres, just around the next corner lads. It's not squealing, it could be the kneecow boar. He's probably just sitting there, the dogs are hanging off him and he's still eating a kneecow palm. Tough as. Dog's got one up here bailing, Bruce has. Don't know how big it is, but we've been covered about 300 meters now. Got another couple hundred to go, two or 300, so. Try and keep in touch. Get up the bridge, okay? Yeah. Good dog. Lucky it wasn't a big boar, it would have taken them off the waterfall probably. Yeah. Ah, oh, led us on a merry chase, this one and the dog. Yeah. They must have caught another one and killed it, then caught onto this one. Yeah. No way, this one ran that two kilometres. Back home for tea and scones. Pigs for one day, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Get the hell up running. That's enough fun for today. We thought the fun was over before and then just out of the blue, more fun. Back down the main river and we just gotta follow this down and we're out. Pick up the ball we got earlier. Home for lunch, not even lunchtime.
Cheers, appreciate Cheers, it. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Make sure you get the handshake right now, Kai. Oh, mate, there we go. Nailed it, nailed it.